guys, it's Half I am back again, and this is going to be another collab video. That's going to be a collab video with some wonderful ladies that we get together on Instagram, although most of us have YouTube channels as well. Everybody who is in this collab will be linked down below. This collab is about our favourite nail polishes of 2016. It's supposed to be our top 16 in 16. And for people who are obsessed with nail polish, this is actually a very difficult process to actually get it down to that kind of number. So in my case, I have, um, I've come close, but a couple of them are more a particular brand than a particular uh, nail polish. So, um, yeah, there's more than 16 polishes here. <laughs> Just a few more, not too many. So, um, what I'm actually going to do this time, which I don't normally do, I'm actually going to do life swatches on my nails. Um, and if I can find a, because I haven't actually taken extra photos, um, I may take them yet. In which case, this sentence is really strange. Um, I probably will just insert the Instagram pictures that um, I've taken of these nail polishes. So these are all nail polishes I've actually used this year and there should be pictures of them on Instagram. Pretty sure there's pictures of all of them on Instagram. Anyway, but I will be doing live swatches of all of them and bottle shots of all of them so that should give you a pretty good idea. So let's just get on with it instead of talking about nothing. The first two nail polishes that I'm going to talk about are actually from the same brand, but they are relatively new realizations in my collection, and they are actually my favorite white and black nail polishes of 2016. So the white one is this one from BYS. This is called French White. Uh, if you do a nice thick coat, it is actually a one coat white. Uh, if you do thinner coats, you'll need two. I think in my swatch, I actually do two coats um, because I didn't put it on thick enough. Um, the other problem I have is that my nails are quite long, so it's a little bit harder anyway. This is a one coat black nail polish. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, as someone who does a lot of nail art, having a one coat black nail polish is fantastic. And it was so good that I went and bought another bottle. I think this one is a slightly older bottle. So I haven't actually tried out the new one to see whether it's just as good. But um, I absolutely love this. Fantastic. out there. I have a couple from this line. This one is almost black in colour. It's kind of like a really dark grey but close enough to black. Um, it is fantastic. It is one of the best finds I had of the year. I didn't even know about this line beforehand.
from L'Oreal. This is Mysterious Icon. I only have a little bottle of it because that's pretty much how we sell it in Australia. This is kind of a rediscovered love over the year. This is an absolutely gorgeous nail polish. It is kind of a purpley base with gold, like old gold in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the photo that I've got on Instagram probably doesn't do it a whole lot of justice, but it was one of those polishes that when I put it on my nails, I couldn't stop looking at my nails because they look so gorgeous. So that is a mysterious icon from L'Oreal. show you a swatch picture of the second one on its own. Um, I didn't actually put them together but um, this is Sinful Colors Bright Lucite. This is my absolute favorite light blue of the year. I've used this in heaps of different nail arts. <coughs> it's just an absolutely fabulous light blue polish. This is Bright Lucite from Sinful Colors. Sinful Colors is Ice Dream, which is a glitter topper, but you can actually build it up and wear it on its own, particularly if you sponge like the last coat. You probably need three coats. If you sponge the last one, it'd be fine. It is a silver polish with blue sparkles in it, and it looks fabulous when paired with Bright Lucite, which is, if I insert the Instagram picture, that will actually be what you will see. Um, it's it's just really, really gorgeous. And I'm not really into glitters a huge amount, and this one is fabulous. In fact, it's one of the only proper glitter toppers that's in this list. from Maybelline. One of them is the Iced Queen from the Maybelline Color Show line. I used this in a in a, um, a nail look that I did and it was for like these purple monster things. It was the perfect color of purple for these monsters. It's just really gorgeous. It's just a really gorgeous light purple cream polish and you know, I love purple so you would expect to see purples in this list and this is probably one of my favorite purples of the year.
I was put onto by another YouTuber. In fact, she is in this collab, which is supposed to be in this collab, um, which is Tina from Moon Baby Nails. This is Bold Gold from the Color Show line. It says holographic on here. It's not holographic. But this gold polish is perfect for stamping. It is like a really good stamping polish. I do occasionally wear it. I only bought this bottle this year. And you can see how much I've actually used. Like heaps and heaps and heaps. Because it really <laughs> is just that good. It stamps beautifully. So thank you for that, Tina. It made my favourites list. It shows you how good it is. are both from the holographic line. Uh, this one is Don't Be a Lunatic, which is kind of a greeny blue kind of thing. I think it was in my top blue polishes for the um, in my collection. Might have been in my top green polishes. It's in one of those two because it's kind of both sort of, but it is a really nice holographic. It's not the most holographic, but it is really pretty and I really, really love it. And the other one is When Stars Collide, which is the purple version from the same collection. I really like this. It's kind of a plummy purple. Just a really gorgeous holographic polish. from Ulta 3. I have one from their gel nail look line. They cost more but they're really not any better than the normal line. This one is called Peacock Purple but it's, it's a really gorgeous shimmery purple polish with a gold shimmer in it which is a thing that I have really really loved this year. I'm a bit like Phoebe Moon. We both like the purple with the gold shimmer. Uh, so this one is a Peacock Purple.
and in the same line, in fact, they look quite similar in the bottle. Um, this one's got more gold in it than this one actually has. This one is called Orchid. This is from their regular line. I was actually given this by one of my clients because she ended up with two bottles of it. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Just a beautiful purple with a very strong gold shimmer in it. Absolutely lovely. super duper bright blue. I've used this in lots of tutorials, particularly ones that have water in them because it is just so gorgeous and you can see I've actually used quite a bit of it. Um, for someone who has a massive nail polish collection, actually seeing the line says something. from them. This is probably my favourite of the lot. I've used it quite a bit. Um, there's actually a line showing where I've actually used it, which suggests I really like it. Um, it is a very densely packed hollow, probably not to be used as a topper, probably better just to use it on its own because it is so dense, but it is an absolutely gorgeous silver hollow topper. So for my last two polishes, these are more about a particular line that I absolutely love. In one case, it is a super duper old nail polish. You cannot get it anymore unless you can find it on eBay or something. It is a Sally Hansen line. This is the Chrome Nail Makeup. These are really, really old. You really just cannot get these anymore. Um, I'm just going to show you three. I have, I think, eight of them. I wish I had more of them because they are fantastic. The chrome nail trend is a big nail trend for 2016, but most people get them with like powders, rubbing powders on their nails. These nail polishes give you exactly the same look with one coat of nail polish. You don't have to be faffing about doing the black nail polish and then rubbing the pigment on and all that kind of stuff because this gives you exactly the same look. These are all one coat nail polishes. Sometimes I will put on two coats if my application is a bit messy. That's the only thing you have to be aware of. They dry really rapidly, so you have to work really fast. Um, and you want to keep your lines straight because they can look a little streaky. Like you can get like the lines that you get in chrome type nail polishes. But considering that this is a really old formula, it works amazingly. So I have um, swatched and shown you pure chrome, which is this one, which is a silver one.
which is a pinky type one. Unfortunately, you can only get in Australia at this point in time. Um, it was started by the wonderful Alba. It is called Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. Um, she, I think she's just opened up an Etsy. Um, I'll leave her link down below. Um, she has an Instagram, which is the best way of finding her, so I'll link that down below too. Um, I bought eight nail polishes from her in two grub bags and I am so glad I did because these are absolutely stunning. They are wonderful, wonderful nail polishes. So I have five of them to share with you and you'll see swatches of them on my nails because they are really just that fantastic. So probably my favourite one of the year and if you have a look you can see I've used it a few times. Um, this is Till We Meet Again. Um, she picked this one especially for me. Um, it was like grab bags, so she just like picked four polishes twice for me um, because she knew I loved teal. It's a teal shimmer, sort of like almost metallic. It is so gorgeous. The formula on these is fantastic. A lot of them are one coat nail polishes, which is amazing. Till we meet again and Sirena. Um, you can build this up on its own, which is basically what I did, um, or you can use it as a topper if you want to.
a yellow. This is a shimmery yellow. The first time I used this, it went on in one coat. A one coat yellow. Like, that is absolutely amazing. If you do thinner coats, you probably will need the two. If you do a thicker coat, you can d get this done in one coat, which is absolutely amazing for a yellow. <laughs> And the last two are both holographics because, you know, I love a good holographic. Um, the first one is called Sugar and Spice. It is a beautiful sort of um, wine coloured holographic. I was sitting in, uh, the photo I'll actually show you is the one where I was sitting in the car and I put one coat of this on my nails and then I went out. It looks absolutely stunning. It is absolutely amazing. And again, these can be done in one coat. You don't need to use two coats. You can if you want, or if you want to do really thin coats, but they will work in one coat, which is amazing. one is Come to the Well. This was actually the first holographic polish that she actually created um, and it's like her personal favourite and it is an absolutely gorgeous blue holographic polish. Absolutely stunning. I am so glad that I found Alba on Instagram and got those polishes because they are an absolute find and they are absolutely fantastic. for an indie nail polish. So if you're in Australia and you want a really good indie nail polish, that's the one to go for. So they were my top 16 in 16 nail polishes. Eh, give or take a few. Uh, I will leave all the other ladies who are doing this collab down below so that you can go and check them all out. And if you've come from one of those other channels, hello. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below and click the little bell next to it so you get notifications of when I post a new video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail related videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.